In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a stop loss on the Huobi spot market. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. If you get some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. To set up our stop loss on the spot market, we'll come right up here where it says trade. Then we'll select spot from this drop down menu. And that'll bring us into the spot market user interface. The next step is to come over here on the left hand side and we'll have to choose our market type as well as our pairing that we wish to set up the stop loss. You can see up at the top here is where you'll find your market types and I'm currently set to USDT. This means I'll be receiving tether if my stop loss gets hit. If you want to use a different market type, just click on the market type you wish to use. For example, if I clicked on BTC, that means I'd be receiving Bitcoin if my stop loss gets hit. For this demonstration, I'll be using tether. Next, you'll need to select the coin that you wish to set up a stop loss for. And you can do that just by clicking on it in this drop down menu, or you can search for it in the search bar here. I have a little bit of Ethereum on account, so I'll go ahead and choose Ethereum. Now, as you can see, I just toggled this to ETH versus USDT. Next, we need to configure the order panel. So we'll come right down here and we'll click here where it says TPSL. Now we have the order panel configured to set up our stop loss. Now that the order panel is configured, we need to choose a trigger price. This is going to be a price point that triggers Huobi to place a limit order to sell the coins. So let's head up here to the chart. And for the purposes of demonstration, let's imagine that I want to set up my stop loss somewhere just below this pivot point right here. So what I'll do is I'll grab a horizontal from the drawing tool. So I'll come over here and I click this tiny little arrow. I'm going to go ahead and grab a horizontal line from this drop down menu. Then I'm going to come back over here to the chart and I'm going to mark out a spot just below this red wick right here. Now I can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 1,622 and I'll use that as my trigger price. So we'll come down here to the order panel and I'll type that into trigger. We'll go 1,622. So if the price of Ethereum comes down to 1,622, that's going to trigger Huobi to place a limit order to sell my coins. So now I need to choose a limit price. So let's head back up here to the chart. And just for the purposes of demonstration, let's imagine that I want to set my stop loss at 1,571 at this level right here. So we'll come back down here to the order panel and I'll type that into price. We'll go 1,571. So there's a couple things to know about this. The first thing is I like to leave a little bit of breathing room between my trigger price and my limit price. I want to make sure that if my trigger condition gets hit, that Huobi has enough time to place my limit order to sell my coins. I don't want the price of the asset to get below my limit price before this order is placed. So I never set my limit price too close to the trigger price. The second thing to know is if there's a better price available on the order book when your trigger condition gets hit, your coins will sell for a higher price anyways. In this particular situation, I'm basically telling Huobi that I want to get at least 1,571 for my Ethereum if my triggered condition gets hit. So if we come up here to the chart and let's imagine that Ethereum was to start moving to the downside, it'll hit my trigger price right here, placing the order to sell my coins at 1,571 or better if my trigger condition gets hit. What I don't want is I don't want price action to fall through these levels like a trap door, getting below my limit price before Huobi has an opportunity to sell these coins. Otherwise, they're not going to sell. Now, Huobi is lightning fast about getting these orders through. It's just something I don't like to leave to chance. So the next step is to simply choose how much of the asset you want to sell if your stop loss gets hit. And of course, we can put in a custom amount in this box right here and you'll be able to see your available balance right here. So my particular situation, I could do not point not one Ethereum if I wanted to. But usually if I'm setting a stop loss, I'll just use this slider bar and I'll just take it right up to 100 percent. So once you get this set up the way that you want it, you just come down here and click on sell. And now I've placed that stop limit order. To quickly recap, if Ethereum was to roll over here and come down to my trigger price at 1622, it's going to place an order to sell my coins at 1571 or better. So if there's a better price point available when my triggered condition gets hit, my coins will sell for a higher price. We can find the details of this order if we come right down here and click on open orders and then click right here where it says TPSL. And here's where you'll find the details of your stop loss. 
If at any point you want to cancel your stop loss, just come right over here under action and click on cancel. Now, as you can see, I just removed that stop limit. And that's how you get that done. If you're still relatively new to Huobi and the user interface still looks a little bit confusing, I do have a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. In that video, I break everything down step-by-step -step that you're seeing on your screen. So feel free to check out that video if you want to learn a little bit more about the user interface. And there you have it. That's how you set up a stop loss on the Huobi spot market. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also feel free to check out my other Huobi tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.